handles, it's fast, and you've just got so much torque with these American V8s. You know, I like all the European stuff too, but they don't have the bottom end like these things do, you know? Or the sound. Oh, or the sound, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's great, it's great. This is pure American muscle. Welcome to the episode of Jay Leno's Garage, the car we're featuring today, 1969 Camaro built by Finale Speed out of Oklahoma. I know it's a Camaro, but it's not that Camaro. This is all carbon fiber. Every piece of this body is carbon fiber. You're probably saving 750, 800 pounds over stock. This is one of these builds that's just incredible. You know, this is the one we all wish we could do. The nice thing is, if you do have one of these cars, well, you can just buy the fender and buy the hood, you different pieces, or you could get a complete package like this. Uh, Chris Jacobs, uh, you, well, you all know Chris. Chris, come on in. You guys built this car. How did it work? Did the owner come and say, this is what I want? Did you build it on spec and then sell it to the owner? How, how does it come about? Well, you know, Jay, what's great about Finale Speed is you've got all those options available. The customer comes to us and tells us what they want. Right. We can build them a turnkey car like this 69 that you're looking at, or uh, we can spec it out exactly how they want. So okay. it really, you know, it's, it's kind of a throwback to coach building and uh, the customer tells us what they want and we build their dream car. So the customer comes in and says, I've got a 69 Camaro. Do you take that donor Camaro or since, since everything in here is brand new, you're not really using much of it, are you? Well, it depends on the condition of the donor right. car. You know, if uh, the customer came to us with a really nice Camaro, well, then their options would be more open. But right. what we like to do is get a donor car that is probably beyond repair and pull the parts that we need right. off of that car to keep it an original Camaro and then completely rebuild the car. And I would guess this is pretty much a no expense spared build on this one. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, this it's is... not like because some people, oh, I can only afford this, or, uh, which is what most people do. But this is what... All of us, if we, if we just won the $2 billion lottery, <laughs> uh, we, we put it into something like Well, that. we like to think our potential customer pool is a little bit bigger than that. You know, I mean, in the world of custom cars, this is relatively affordable. I mean, you're looking right, right. at Right, right. No, what I mean is, yeah. what I mean is, this is the basis for anybody who's got a Camaro, as I just said, could, oh, I, I can't afford it, but I'd like to get a little lighter front end. I could do this clip. And do, sure. You could buy whatever piece. And you built this as the ideal of what, oh, this is what everybody would want. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, if you're a DIY kind of guy, we'll provide a roller for you. Yeah, you know, yeah. we'll put all the pieces together, as many as you want, and give it back to you to do the drivetrain and the interior and the rear end and all of that kind of stuff. But uh, we're, we're a full service operation. So let's go through it. It's 69 Camaro. Is that about right, 750 pounds? Yeah, you know, with, uh, with all the carbon pieces, in fact, there are 32 different carbon fiber pieces on this car. Brothers Composites in Wisconsin do all of our carbon work. They do a phenomenal job. It's beautiful, yeah. And yeah, you're saving about 750 pounds off of stock, which brings it down to about 2750 curb weight. Yeah. That's, and, that's, you know, pretty, it's pretty good and uh, that's, and that's power And that's not with ratio. some silly shell bucket seat. No. You've got a really nice, comfortable yep. racing seat. But all not, TMI yeah. interior. Interior, yeah. leather, Alcantara, really, really sporty and functional interior. And so what motor, what engine are we using here? You got the LT4 GM Performance Crate engine. Okay. It's got a 1.7 Eaton supercharger on it, making about 650 horsepower. Okay. Also 650 pound-feet of torque. Right, so right. Uh, as I was saying, pretty good uh, power to weight ratio. Backed up by the Tremec T56 six-speed transmission. Ultimate headers flowing out through Magnaflow exhaust. Well, and boy, I mean, it sits nice, it looks great, and just the weave here is, is just fantastic. Yeah, you know, they, they pay a lot of attention to detail. You know, when this car was first displayed, a lot of people thought that this was a wrap because the weave lines are so perfectly right, lined up yeah, between yeah. the pieces. So, flush mounted glass. Uh, we got some great stopping power with the Willwood brakes all the way around, six piston in front, four in the back. Forge line three piece wheels wrapped up in Toyo R888Rs. Uh, it's like when hybrids first came out, they'd have hybrid on the side <laughs> of the car, you know, yeah. big letters. Uh, when this kind of uh, raw carbon fiber, where you just see the weave, that's the thing. Do a lot of people like the carbon fiber painted or most prefer to have it exposed? Like you know, we're, we're about the exposure. We right. love having the exposed carbon fiber. In fact, this is the, the, I think the only Camaro, 69 Camaro, completely exposed carbon fiber car 
in the world. So we love that look. Right. I think that people who, you know, they want to show off the fact that it is a completely carbon fiber car. So see, we like I to leave like it exposed. I would like the sleeper thing. I would love the fact that sure. you just painted what are the Camaro colors for 69. And oh, yeah, a hugger so orange or something. Think, yeah. oh, that's probably weighs about 3,700 pounds. Right. It's got a small block. It's not going to be that fat. I mean, to me, like this is just, you know, you know, you're going to get your doors blown off. You know, right the, away. the customer is always right. If yeah. they want to paint the car, yeah, we're more than right. happy to do that right. for them. Well, it's, it's beautifully done. And uh, now that console, that's not stock. That's yeah, that's all customized TMI interior. You've got billet speed side view mirrors. So. Lots of details on this car, and, and once again, 32 different carbon fiber pieces. I wonder if this carbon fiber is strong enough that you don't need a roll bar. I mean, for street use. Yeah, well, I mean, street use, yes, but again, with the amount of horsepower in this car and, you know, the, <laughs> the lead foot that people uh, who appreciate these cars tend to have, you definitely want to have that four-point roll bar in there for safety. And this was uh, hand-fabricated by the guys at Finale Speed. And I'm looking, now it looks all to be... Camaro proportions. You know, a lot of times there's subtle changes. Right. Lowered a little bit, child. But I like the fact that it is exactly as it left the factory quote. If you're looking at a picture of this, it's exactly a 69 Camaro. It is indeed. These yeah. are exact 69 Camaro specs, and the way that the carbon fiber is manufactured, molds are pulled off of stock right. 69 components. But, but these are wider fenders in the there rear. Is a, there is a mini tub right. inside. Okay. So we did not mess with the outside dimensions. The, uh, the space for the wheels are done inside the car. Uh, how many gallon gas tanks? Same size as stock or smaller? I believe it's an 18. Oh, 18. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Is the trunk finished as well? The trunk is finished. Yeah. yeah. Let me grab the keys so I can open up for Let's you. Take a look. If, if you're not a fan of just the sound of the engine and exhaust being your soundtrack this car has an amazing entertainment system too yeah. it's an alpine head unit you got moscone amps now those taillights are not stock no these are all lead and the yeah. way they operate are super cool too they're sequential very right. bright very trick looking they're bright but they're not you know by offensive. lead you mean led yes yeah <laughs> not, not lead taillights what right yeah those would be a little heavy so oh, here we go all right what do we got here so you got your uh, elite power. What is all that? That oh, is all your the sound two of the Moscone amps on the bottom there, and then the focal speakers and subwoofer system okay. up top. Yeah, it's been all finished. You know, the, the bottom of the uh, deck lid is finished in leather too. Beautiful to match up with the interior. Yeah. Now, what would a build like this? This is the ultimate. Everything you have, all the greatest. So, what is something like this? What's about? 600? Out the door, yeah. 349. Oh, 349? Yeah. No, that's not bad. Yes, yeah, so we like to keep our price point a little bit lower. Yeah. And as I was saying at the beginning, we like to work with our customer on exactly yeah. what they want, build their dream car. If they want something a little bit different, then that right. price is going to adjust accordingly. And when I say 349, I don't mean to imply that that's cheap. It's not. It's, <laughs> right. It, no, it's very expensive. It's just that I know a lot of people who have sent, we've had them here. They've sent cars off to be built. And one thing goes wrong, the customer this, whatever. And the build runs four, five, six hundred thousand dollars. I sure. mean, a fortune because they're experimenting with your car. Yes. We'll get, oh, we tried to make it. We couldn't do it. Well, you have to pay for that because you're the customer. Yeah. I mean, this about this is it's all been done before. Correct. So it's just a matter of. Well, and this is one option. If you want a turnkey yeah. car, we're happy to do that. Again, you come in, you have a design meeting with us. You tell us exactly what you want. Right. Maybe you want a different drivetrain. Maybe you want a different interior. That's going to adjust the price accordingly. What's your turnaround time when someone comes in? If someone wanted this exact car, we could probably turn it around in about six months. We have okay. some uh, bodies ready to go right, uh, right. that are that are on chassis. If it was something, you know, because we we have a license with Dodge also to do any Dodge vehicle right. that we want. So if someone came in, like for instance, if I came into Finale Speed, I'd say make me an A body. Barracuda. Right, right. You know, something a little bit more unusual. Right. That turnaround time is probably going to be closer to nine or ten months just because we have to fabricate all the molds. And what's your most common? Car. Is it Mustang and Camaro? No, our uh, most common would be the Charger and the Camaro. Oh, okay. In fact, if you were at SEMA, you saw the uh, Roller 70 Charger that we had oh, the Dodge sure. booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dodge was so impressed with that car, they actually made room in their booth at SEMA to display it next to the, oh, uh, the SRT. Yeah. Now, how does that work? When you guys copy a Camaro, do you have to pay licensing fees to General Motors for? Well, we with the Camaro, we're going on a customization 
platform because these are VIN vehicles. Right. Um, we do have a licensing agreement in place with Dodge. Right. Um, we're working on a licensing agreement with another manufacturer now. We've got some exciting new models that should be coming up later this year. Uh, that we can't give you all the information on, but right, right. Uh, now then, we'll, we'll people see. who are fans of uh, 80s customizers are going to be very, very happy. Cool. Well, let's take a look under the let's hood. Let's do it. Hood pins, of course, for that right. nice racy vibe. And Jay, I want you to notice something that television isn't going to show. Feel how light this hood is. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, yeah. Just, it's just yeah, amazing. So there's your uh, GM Performance Crate LT4, supercharged, of course, eating 1.7 liters Now, the LT4, supercharger. is this the same motor that's in the ZR1? The Z06. Oh, Z06. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And yeah. it's all stock, so warranty-wise, you're all covered. All stock. In fact, Finale Speed is so confident in the quality of their builds and the functionality of their cars, we offer a one-year warranty right. with every car. It's backed up by our partners at C2. And... Uh, Hopefully you'll never have to use it, but you've got the peace yeah. of mind that if something goes wrong, you're covered. Well, that's what's so nice about doing a crate. You know, there's nothing more disappointing. One guy does your cam, somebody else does it, somebody else balances, yeah. and then it comes back and it doesn't run, and you're all, you're <laughs> all blamed. You know, and who's to fault? You don't know who the right. fault is, you right. know? Great installation. Boy, it's nicely it's done. It's super clean, right? We yeah. relocated the uh, Optima battery of the trunk, so everything uh, oh, that's a big is in there nice, that. clean. Yeah. Okay. And all you right, can cool. see all the inner workings are carbon fiber as well. Yeah, yeah. Eddie Motorsports hinges yeah. that are overkill for a uh, hood that, that, that's right. this light. And uh, you can see that the underneath of the hood is carbon too. So this right. is actually two pieces of carbon fiber that are together. Same way with the deck lid, same way with the roof. That's why there's so yeah. many carbon fiber pieces on the car. And you're really increasing horsepower by adding lightness. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. you're using that horsepower more efficiently. That's what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, if it's 600 and something with this lighter body, it's, it's yeah. really closer to maybe seven and a quarter, theoretically. Based yeah. on a stock, absolutely. Horsepower per pound, mm -hmm. yeah, cool. Yep. All right, well, let's, uh, let's take it for a spin. Sounds great. What I notice more than the power is the lightness. Yeah. It does feel a lot lighter. You can feel it right away, right? Yeah. yeah. And of course, with this motor, you've got a bulletproof reliability. It's not some, you know, temperamental car that's got to yeah, and that's the thing you were talking about in the shop. You know, when you have a bunch of different hands on the mechanics, you right. know, there's a lot more things that can go wrong. When you got a plug and play crate engine from Jam yeah. Performance, you know what you're getting. They did a really great job of uh, developing this engine at GM, and, you know, it wouldn't be going in the Z06 if it wasn't. Yeah. And I like these Tremec gearboxes. Definitely. This is something that we're going to improve. What is we're going to do a carbon fiber dash. Well, why is this there? Because I, I, I don't know. I, I was trying even, to figure I that out, e too. I, I can't even see my gauge. I that's, know it's... that's the problem. Yeah. yeah. And we did adjust it up a little bit, but for tall guys like us, is it, was that still stock? can't see it. Yeah, that's, this is a stock dash. Oh, boy, if it's it goes. It sounds good, right? Boy, with those big stinky Toyos on, you still feel it wanting to break loose. Just the sound puts a smile on your face. Yeah. And these are such great engines. Yeah, they really are. You still got the cam low in the block, keeps the center of gravity low. It's got all kinds of power. Yeah, and with the built-in supercharger too, you know that you know nothing's gonna go wrong. Put the pulley system on there and you're good to go. And I was expecting this to be ridiculously loud it's not bad at no. all mm -mm. i mean we're talking a little extra loud inside here because danny our sound guy said uh might be too loud but i don't think it is I, no it's not it's bad good. you know the, the car is completely hush matted also right so you get a lot of the deadening in there um and with the materials that we use in the interior it helps deaden it too and you know i mean a guy who's gonna buy this kind of car is gonna like that sound anyway and it's a good kind of balance between stock and custom in the interior. I mean, obviously having all the upgraded mechanicals inside, but leaving it stock appearing. The true, the true artists are masters at doing that kind of stuff, where the functionality is modern, but the form is your classic look. It's got a real nice idle to it, too. It does have a nice idle. Yeah. Flaming River um, column. Yeah. Tilt. And it's got a good um, kind of ergonomic too with the center console where, right. you, where your elbow rests up Are to the shifter. Are windows available? Probably. If you want, yeah. yeah. 
We did cranks in this one, but we can certainly do electric. gearbox yeah when you buy a second it it's always kind of crunch crunch a little bit you know yeah when the, it's brand new it just click click it, it, it's so satisfying like a rifle bolt exactly fresh the ratio is great yeah now you don't have any abs or traction control on this no correct? nope no really old school but just that endless torque that pulls you along yeah it really is long bands of it which is so great really maximizing the performance of both the, the motor and the trans. And then of course the look, you know, that you yeah. get driving by people, they just, this car is just such an eyeball grabber. I put steelies on it with dog dish hubcaps. You know? I like that look yeah, too. Yeah, like look we do that on our 70 Charger. Yeah. It looks fantastic. But again, it's the customer preference. Right. You know, of course, uh, Willwood would love uh, to have their brakes exposed, but right. I love the old school Steelys with the poverty caps on there. Looks so great on the Charger, especially. Does carbon fiber come in any other color? Yes. It's carbon so they, fiber. Yes. Uh, in the in the process of um, fusing the the strands, they can anodize the uh, the metal component of right. the carbon fiber. So you know you can go pretty much any color. Okay. I saw a couple of uh, red ones at SEMA, some blue, green, but I just prefer the... And you still see the weave. Classical. Yeah. You do, you can see the weave. It's just so, it's got the, the metal component and the carbon which are woven together, so the metal component is anodized. And it gives it that color. of the panels clicking off yeah. each other. Yeah. What's the final rear end on this, do you know? What, Nine inch. 354, something like that? Uh, it is, um, no, it is. Um, Numerically higher than that? I think so, yeah. I can't remember what the number is. It might be, it might be 373. Boy, the engine doesn't skip a beat, though. No, but, it's you know. bulletproof, yeah. And it's funny, all you gotta do is change your oil, you don't have to touch it. It's, you know, it's 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 the ultimate. It's the old school styling with the modern right, technology. Right. So it's what has been the trend for years now. I like these side mirrors, they're very nice. All yeah, they're uh, billet speed, and um, that's all they do are mirrors. They do rear views and side views, yeah. and uh, they do really great work. They're cool. Very industrial looking with the exposed uh, rivets. Coming chrome and blacked out. Yeah. It takes a lot of road to get this trans all the way into six. I know. <laughs> Why you got all this breaking loose in the air? It's so good. It's so good. You got three, three thirty-five, thirty eighteens in the back, and yeah. three fifteen, thirty. Just hit it in any gear. Yeah, this is exactly. third gear. Let's see what it does. Oh, you gotta love that. Just that sound it makes, and the and the throws you back in your seat. Yeah, so good. I know kids born today was like my dad used to drive a gas powered car. <laughs> It, we'll we'll see what happens. I my opinion is there's room for both. I don't see any oh, reason to, yeah, out, both, yeah. to outlaw one or the other. You know. Well, it's not about outlawing it. It's a matter of making it financially viable. Yeah. You know, if, if people seem to have embraced it. it, was only maybe 10 years ago when people said it'll take 50 years to get people to switch over to electric. Right. Well, that happened pretty quick. Yeah. 
and they've both got their pros and cons, but I'll tell you one thing, there's never gonna be a group of guys standing around at a car show surrounding a Tesla waiting for it to start up. Well, they will, they will if they're in a drag strip. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, future drags, you have electric, yeah. and then the slower for the old people apartment, the right. gas engine car. Yeah. I mean, that's what it's gonna, I mean, my Tesla, I took it out to that drag strip, I put 9.147 and 152. Those plaids are insane. I know, there's not a gas car that can beat them. No, that. absolutely not. You're getting full power automatically, yeah. but that's, my point is that. You're never gonna get that out of a Tesla. That's fourth gear. <laughs> Torsion bars hitting up the uh, yeah. exhaust too. Yeah, be careful you don't crack that carbon fiber tub. Yeah. The, it's just yeah, you know, just, just that little that rubber rubber it's squeal. Rubbing enough, yeah. yeah. Thanks for doing it. Appreciate it. Appreciate right. you, Jay. Thanks, man. I'm going to drive this some more. See you guys next week.